You knew it was coming. Yes, this is the Nintendo Wii. It's got so many good games that people just simply overlook because of the amount of uh, shovelware on the system, the, the amount of advertisement that's put on games that aren't actual games, like Zumba Fitness, which is still number one in the charts, I just can't believe that. But if you overlook the, the bad press that the Wii's been getting, the um, stigma that gamers have that it's not a gamer's machine, if you overlook that, there really are some fantastic gems that people just seem to forget about completely, or just get completely ignored, and you can't even find them in game shops, which is quite sad really, such as this game that's on the screen right now, Fragile Dreams. I had real trouble trying to find this game, but it's a fantastic game. No one's heard of it. That's the problem with the Wii. It's got a bad reputation, but it's not a bad console. In fact, it's an amazing console. And it's backwards compatible with the GameCube, which is even better. Of course, the Mario Galaxy series, Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. I'm wearing the t-shirt. It's a fantastic game. This is actually my favourite Mario game ever. Super Mario Galaxy 1. Unbelievable. If you like platformers for the Wii, there's quite a lot of very good 2D platformers. There's Donkey Kong Country Returns that came out recently. Amazing game. On par with the SNES games, it really is good. Super Mario All-Stars Collection, the first four Mario games, you can't go wrong with that. New Super Mario Bros. Wii, a very hard game surprisingly. A lot of fun, especially in multiplayer. Wario Land, The Shape Dimension, a traditional 2D platform with gorgeous graphics, unbelievable. And Kirby's Epic Yarn, another really nice looking game, really traditional 2D side-scrolling gameplay. As traditional as you can get, really fantastic game. Um, some other games that get overlooked quite quite badly. Final Fantasy, The Crystal Bearers. I bet hardly anyone's even heard of this game. It's a really good Final Fantasy game. In fact, one of the best that I've played. So if you can find this, get it. You won't be disappointed. Resident Evil 4, Wii Edition. Um, an improved version of the GameCube game with uh, better graphics and much better controls thanks to the Wii Remote's pointer abilities. Sonic and the Black Knight, once again the Wii has plenty of fantastic Sonic games. This is Black Knight, Unleashed, Sonic Colors, which I'll get to, but Black Knight, amazing game. And uh, Pikmin, a GameCube game, but remastered for the Wii. Uh, I got completely addicted to this, really good. Trauma Center, everyone who loves a DS version, definitely you owe it to yourselves to pick up the Wii version as well. Muramasa the Demon Blade, the spiritual sequel to Odin Sphere for the PS2, which I showed earlier. Really good game, amazing graphics. On par better than anything I've seen on the 360, they really are that good, so... Everyone who says the Wii doesn't have good graphics, just take a look at this game, they'll blow you away. Of course, once again for a Nintendo system, there's a whole load of different Sonic games you can enjoy. Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing, one of the best kart races I've played, on par with Mario Kart Wii in fact, it's that good. Sonic and the Secret Rings, the a launch title for the Wii, I believe. Fantastic game, really fast-paced. Takes a bit of time to get into, you have to upgrade your abilities and stuff. Sonic Unleashed, really great game. Much better than the Xbox one, in fact. I have played and finished both, and I did prefer the Wii version. Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, the sequel to the Wii game, to the GameCube game, Sonic Riders. This one uh, uses the Wii controls, it's really fun. Sonic Colors, one of the best games I've played in a long time, this is. Um, almost as good as Sonic Adventure 2. You must play this game. I can't stress how much you need to play it. Play it! Play it! Mario and Sonic at the Olympics, the Summer and Winter Olympics, and coming soon 2012. And Sega Superstars Tennis Star and Sonic. So, plenty of choice for Sonic fans. Plus, don't forget you can play any of the amazing GameCube ones as well. I'll just quickly whiz through the rest of these games so as not to waste so much of your time. Final Fantasy Chocobo's Dungeon, really good dungeon craw crawler, quite hard, I still haven't finished it. Dragon Quest Swords, I picked this up on the day of release as a, on a whim, definitely pleased with it, it's really good. Klonoa, not quite as good as the one on the PS2, but still a fantastic platformer, and another great game to add to the Wii's impressive library of games. The Super Monkey Ball games, both very good, this one uses the Wii Remote, this one uses the Balance Board, which was uh, built for Wii Fit, and it works extremely well, surprisingly. Very impressed, actually. Okami, a re-release re of a PS2 game. You use the Wii Remote as a paintbrush to draw on the screen and uh, gives you different abilities and weapons. Very good game, very Zelda-like, which is obviously a good thing. You can never go wrong with a Zelda game. 
Super Paper Mario, my favourite of the Paper Mario series, just a hilarious game, really addictive. I, uh, I got completely addicted to this, fantastic, one of the best Mario games there is. Fragile Dreams, I was talking about this a bit earlier on. One of my favourite games of all time, not just Wii games, this is a very atmospheric game. Um, I talked a bit about it in a different video, so you could find that. Metroid Other M, there's quite a few different Metroid games on the Wii, you can get the entire Metroid Prime Trilogy, which I've got over there somewhere, this is one of the newer Metroid games. Some people like it, some people don't, it's quite a controversial game, they gave Samus a voice, but I personally enjoy it, it's a bit confusing at times, but still, excellent Metroid game. No More Heroes and its sequel, No More Heroes 2, Desperate Struggle, both fantastic action games, can't get enough of them, really crazy over the top. Another code R. This game was released exclusively in, in Japan and Europe, so if you live in America, unfortunately, you can't get this one. If you've played the DS game, you kind of know what to expect, except this is a lot longer and there's a lot more story to it, so a, definitely a worthy sequel to one of my favourite games of all time. Battalion Wars 2, a sequel to the GameCube game, Battalion Wars. This is 3D Advance Wars where you actually get to control your troops in real time definitely worth getting and quite an overlooked game so if you can find Battalion Wars definitely pick that up. I'll just quickly whiz through this. Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World, the sequel to the GameCube game and fan favourite Tales of Symphonia. This one's not quite as good but it's still an excellent RPG for the for the Wii which are quite hard to find so that's excellent. Trackmania, the game that's on the TV right now. If you're a PC gamer I'm sure you've heard of it. Amazing racing game where you can make your own tracks compete in online races. Very, very good and really nice graphics as well. Super Smash Bros. Brawl, this game needs no introduction. It also includes a fantastic single player mode this time, which is a nice addition. Sin and Punishment, successor of the skies. Amazing game, really fast paced, made by Treasure, so as you would expect, full of bullets. Mario Kart Wii, the best in the Mario Kart series. Uh, Double Dash comes close, but this just tops it thanks to its excellent online play and motion controls which really do add a lot to the game. Super Mario Galaxy 2, on par with the first one, if not better. Unbelievable game. If you like Mario, you owe it to yourself to pick that game up. Fire Emblem, unbelievably hard for what it is, although I haven't played a Fire Emblem game before, so I don't really have anything to compare it to, but very, very good. I was pleased with it. Metroid Prime Trilogy, all three Metroid Prime games on one disc, how can you go wrong? Monster Hunter 3, one of the reasons people picked up a Wii. Um, very good, very expensive, because I got the one with the treasure chest that comes with the monster heads and everything, it was like 70 quid or something, but it was worth it, but a very hard game. No More Heroes 2, I already mentioned that. Zelda Twilight Princess, my favourite Zelda game ever, and this is the best version of it as well. Not as expensive as the GameCube one, which is good, so... Most people got a Wii just to play that game, and trust me, best Zelda game ever. Knight's Journey of Dreams, fantastic sequel to the original. I've done a review of this, I've done gameplay videos. One of my favourite games. Sakura Wars for the Wii, an uh, um, an anime style, turn-based strategy game with lots of character development and stuff, which is nice to see in a game, so yeah, that's good. The Wii's not only good for games that come on disc though, the Wii also has its WiiWare service and virtual console which lets you download any of Nintendo's best games from the NES, NES, Super Nintendo, N64, Sega Mega Drive, Turbo Graphics, anything you can think of you can download onto the Wii. It's just a brilliant machine and I wish people would stop thinking that it's a casual game, a casual system for mums or whatever, but they're not going to listen to me and I'm not going to ramble on about it, so... The Wii is my number two console. Thank you.